Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this uh, video clip, we're going to take a look to some long division of polynomials. In a previous uh, clip, we, uh, I discussed about uh, also long division, but this one are kind of a, a little bit different. So, uh, in this case, we have uh, what? We have 4x cubed minus 8x squared plus 2x minus 1 divide by 2x plus 1, okay? And the same technique like in the previous video clip, which I will strongly advise you to watch it. We're going to look and think about what should I multiply this 2x by to get 4x squared. And that is 2x, right? 2x times 2x, 4x squared, 2x times 1 is 2x. Oops, this is... Okay, hold on, a mistake here. This one is x cubed, so obviously we're going to have to change something. Okay, so x cubed, so we're going to have to have 2x squared here. So 2x squared times 2x is 4x cubed, and uh, 2x squared times 2x is... Uh, 2x squared times 1, sorry, it's 2x squared. Okay, so again, multiply uh, 2x squared by the 2x and by 1. And if you notice here, let me change the color here, we, we subtract these two guys. Always these guys cancel out. They have to cancel out. So what do we get here? We get negative 8, right? Negative 8 minus positive 2, that will be negative 10, right? Negative 10x squared plus 2x minus 1. And the same thing. We're going to look and think about why should I multiply 2x to get negative 10x squared, and if you've said in your mind negative 5x, then you are correct. Negative 5x times 2x, negative 10x squared, negative 5x times 1 is uh, negative 5x. Again, subtraction, right? If you remember, subtraction, subtraction. So we have this guy cancel out, and here we have 2 minus negative 5. That will be 7, 7, 7x minus 1. Okay, so this is seven. And this is a tricky one. Why should I multiply 2x by to get 7? That means 7 over 2 or 3.5 if you want. So that will give us 7x here plus 7 over 2. And we have this to cancel out. Then we have negative 1 minus positive 7 halves. That will be what? Negative 2 over 2 minus 7 over 2. That will be negative 9 over 2. Okay, so the answer for our problem will be uh, f of x over q of x, right? These two polynomial equals what? Equals 2x squared minus 5x plus 7 over 2 plus plus the remainder, right? Plus the remainder negative 9 half over what we divide by 2x plus 1. A little bit interesting the way it looks like. Okay? Go ahead and try number 2.
If you end up with this answer for number two, then you did a wonderful job. If you see, the remainder is zero. Uh, so uh, 3x minus 2, in fact, is a factor of this polynomial f of x. Let's take a look to this example where we also have to use long division to uh, divide these two polynomials. So we're going to divide f of x, which is x to the 4 power minus 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x plus 6 by x squared plus 2x minus 1. So the same story, you're going to look and think about what well, should I multiply x squared to get x to the 4 power? And that's is x squared. x squared times x squared is x to the 4 power. x squared times 2x, that is um, positive 2x cubed. x squared times negative 1 is negative x squared. So now we're going to subtract them, the same story, these two gentlemen cancel out, and here we have negative 2 minus negative 2 minus positive 2, be careful, that will be uh, negative 4, negative 4 x to the third power, and then we have positive 3 minus negative 1, right, positive 3 x squared minus x squared, that is going to be 4 x squared minus 4 x plus 6, we drop the other two terms. And now, here again, we need to multiply by negative 4x, right? Or negative 4x times x squared. So these two guys multiply negative 4x cubed. Negative 4x times 2x, negative uh, 8x squared. Negative 4x times negative 1, positive 4x, right? And again, the same story, we're going to subtract them. These two guys cancel out always. 4, positive 4, minus negative 8, that, that is positive 12, positive 12 x squared, negative 4, minus positive 4, that will be negative 8, negative 8 x, plus 6, okay, so again we have the same situation, we need to multiply by 12, 12 times x squared is 12 x squared, 12 times 2x is 24x, 12 times negative 1, negative 12. These two cancel out, then we have negative 8 minus negative, minus positive 24, sorry. That will be negative 32x, and then we have positive 6 minus negative 12, that is positive 18. So, f of x over q of x equal what? Uh, x squared plus 4x plus 12 plus negative 32x plus 18 over x squared plus 2x minus 1. This is the final answer for number three. Pause this video clip and try the next one.
So if you end up with this sensor, wonderful. Again, another example where the remainder is zero, and that that tells me that should tells you in the future that that uh, this guy is a factor of f of x. In fact, uh, we're gonna use this for factoring later, um, and that is the answer in the fraction form. The polynomial form, form, remember, you just have to multiply, and you get uh, uh, you get the polynomial. Form. Polyn polynomial form. Okay, sorry. Uh, if you enjoyed this little clip, uh, don't forget to click the like button, then like, and come back. I'll see you square for more. Thank you.